The member for Latrobe. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for Infrastructure and Transport. Will the Deputy Prime Minister update the House on the government's investment in vital infrastructure, connecting local communities and creating local jobs? Is the Deputy Prime Minister aware of any risks to job creation? The Deputy Prime Minister has the call. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And a, a good question about jobs. We should be hearing questions about jobs and innovation rather than the muckraking and tearing down that we're hearing from those opposite. So I'm glad to get a question from our side about jobs, about innovation, about infrastructure, and I thank the member for La Trobe for his question. He is a tireless fighter. He is a tireless fighter for his local community, for Victoria, and for the infrastructure and the jobs that our nation needs. This government is delivering. A million jobs have been created. A million jobs have been created throughout Australia, including in Victoria and in Tasmania, thanks to this government's strong economic plan, a plan which has taken the pressure off small and medium businesses through tax cuts and the instant asset write-off, extended for another 12 months in, in the Treasurer's excellent budget, a plan which will see Australians keeping more of their money more of their hard-earned money in their pockets through our personal income tax cuts, and a plan which is delivering for vital infrastructure needed to boost economy, connect local communities and create local jobs. It's all about productivity. The members' electorate is benefiting from a $500 million investment in the Monash Freeway, connecting his region with Melbourne and other parts of regional Victoria. The constituents of Latrobe will be amongst those in the region to benefit from our commitment to the Melbourne Airport Rail Link, $5 billion, which will deliver the much needed, long called for rail link between Tullamarine and the CBD. But the, mel the member asked me more broadly about infrastructure connecting local communities, and I'm de delighted, delighted to inform him of the government's infrastructure investment also in Tasmania. And Warwick Smith, the former member for Bass, will also be delighted to hear this. In the northwest and in the west of Tasmania, in the seat of Braddon. The seat of Braddon, indeed, this government has delivered. Gawler River, Stony Point Creek and Zeehan Rivulet Bridge replacements. $3.5 million for eight community infrastructure projects under the Regional Jobs and Investment Program, a wonderful initiative, including the Wild Mercy Mountain Bike Trails Project, the Burnie Waterfront Eastern Promenade, and a project unlocking export opportunities for seed potato production in the Apple Isle. $11.1 million for a number of projects under the Community Development Grants Program, including the Devonport Gymnastics Club project and a new community facility on King Island, building community capacity, creating local jobs. I'm asked about the risks, and they're those opposite, Mr Speaker. The Leader of the Opposition he stands opposed to jobs creation. He stands opposed to higher wages for Tasmanians. He stands opposed to business growth. I can't understand why he is so anti-business, so anti-startups, particularly in Tasmania. The Leader of the Opposition is a clear and present danger to the continued growth, prosperity, job creation and hard-earned wages of all Tasmanians. 